A new Ecamm Live beta has just been released and it's got an awesome feature that I know you're going to love. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and in this video we're, we are talking about the latest beta release of Ecamm Live version 3.10 uh, and it is beta 7. Uh, now if you are a regular Ecamm user and you're not on the beta program then uh, there's nothing to do in terms of uh, application or anything like that. It is a public beta and you can get it simply by going over to uh, ecamm.com slash beta uh, and that'll take you to this website where you can download the, uh, the beta here and install it. It does run in parallel with the regular program so you don't need to worry about that. You're not making a choice between one or the other uh, and you can uh, do things in one, close it down and then open the other one up and just work in that one just as you had been used to. So uh, definitely worth giving it a try because uh, we do get access to some great new uh, features by uh, trying out the beta. I use it exclusively really. I rarely open up the regular version so I do find that the beta, although the point of a beta is that it is for testing, um, I do find that they're generally uh, pretty stable. So uh, there is that. Then also if you are using the beta then definitely head over to the uh, Facebook group as well. So that is uh, facebook.com slash groups slash Ecamm live beta uh, and there you'll see um, lots of great information and conversation all about uh, the beta and you can uh, add your comments and feedback rela uh, relating to the beta in there. So uh, that is just another point actually. If you are using the uh, Ecamm Live beta then do keep conversations related to it and its features in that Facebook group rather than the regular Ecamm group so that we don't confuse people who aren't using the regular beta. <laughs> anyway with that out of the uh, the way uh, then let's get into this awesome new feature that I've been telling you about. I don't want to keep you in suspense anymore so I won't. <laughs> let's just get up the features that came out from the release. Oh actually I should say if you are are using the Ecamm beta and you uh, want to update then if you've just opened it up it should prompt you but if not then go to the Ecamm beta menu in the menu bar and then select uh, check for updates and just go through the update process so that should hopefully be relatively straightforward. Uh, so then uh, once you have done that, you will get these release notes that tell you what has been added into this particular version. Uh, and the three ones you want to pay attention to are the top three. Well, the others are fixes down below, but the first three are the three new features. The top one is the one that you're going to be really crazy about, I'm sure. Uh, adds a virtual mic feature to the outputs menu. I'm going to come on to explaining what that is and why it's important in a moment. Uh, but the other two features are related to uh, playback in uh, playlists in your uh, sound effects panel <laughs> and I'll explain those as well. So there's two extra bits of functionality that have been added in there. But what is the virtual mic and why is it important? For a long time now, we've had a virtual camera in Ecamm Live, uh, and what that enables you to do is then feed your output from Ecamm Live into another application such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, uh, Discord, or wherever you happen to be wanting to use video. So that then basically when you are in those applications and selecting your camera, you are selecting the uh, Ecamm Live virtual camera. The point of that is it brings all of the amazing production values that you can create with uh, Ecamm Live and feeds those into your otherwise dull and boring Zoom meetings. <laughs> uh, sorry for the assumption there. Um, so uh, that is what that is used for. Now, up until now, uh, we haven't had the way to get all of the audio out of Ecamm Live directly into those applications. So we've had to use third party applications such as Loopback, Black Hole or other options were available. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Well, it means that when you're in Zoom then we could have selected our regular microphone as the microphone in Zoom but then we wouldn't get any of the audio that was being passed through Ecamm Live such as if you were uh, playing a video or had sound effects or anything like that then those wouldn't be fed into the meeting and so in order to do that we needed third-party software like Loopback which basically allows, allows you to sort of merge different audio sources on your computer so merging the mic with the Ecamm Live sound effects uh, and bringing those into Zoom uh, instead and so the was always this uh, third party application that we needed in the middle and Ecamm Live very user friendly uh, easy to uh, get your head around uh, loop back Often not so much for a lot of people. <laughs> I know that I was often getting questions about loopback and how to set it up and various other different things and whether people even needed it because it wasn't something that people needed in all instances. Well, all of that is a thing of the past. Thank you, Ecamm, <laughs> for uh, this release because now we just have a simple uh, virtual mic in exactly the same way that we had virtual camera before. We can toggle it on and then zoom or Discord 
or Teams will then see this as the microphone input. But let me not just keep talking about it. Let me actually show you because it's uh, really easy to in install and use as well. So the way that we're going to install this is if we come up to uh, menu at the top and what you want to do is go into the output menu. So it's in the same place before as we had our um, uh, virtual camera. <laughs> so if we go into there, you'll see now just underneath the virtual camera, in fact, uh, down here, you'll see that there's the virtual camera and then also we've got the virtual mic. Uh, and then now if you go into that one, that little sub menu, you can see that you've got the option here, where is it? There, <laughs> to install the virtual mic. Now once you install the virtual mic, it's uh, click on that button, it will prompt you to input your uh, uh, password for your Mac. Uh, and then once you've done that, then you'll get this little pop-up saying that the virtual mic has been installed. So uh, then what we do is we uh, basically come back into that menu and you can see that now uh, we're next to the virtual mic, where is it there? <laughs> it's saying that it's on. If ever you do need to uninstall it, you can just uninstall it from that menu as well. Uh, you can see that we've also got a keyboard shortcut to toggle it on, which is Command Shift K uh, or Command Option Shift K. Uh, just bear in mind that some of these keyboard shortcuts uh, may potentially be slightly different depending on which uh, country you're in or if you've got anything else set up with them. But so those are the default built-in keyboard shortcuts that you can assign to uh, toggle this thing on and off. Uh, and when I say toggling on and off, uh, what you'll see is when it is on, uh, if you are looking at your Ecamm window, so imagine this is your Ecamm window with all of the different uh, buttons and things like that around the outside of it, um, then you'll see this thing over on this side which tells you uh, here I've got my video monitor out, I've got my uh, virtual camera on, and you've now got this one which says mic out. So that just illustrates that the, uh, or indicates rather, that the uh, uh, virtual mic is on. So what do we do with it then? Well then we come over to our um, other application of choice, Zoom, Discord, whichever it is. And so I've got uh, my uh, settings for Zoom open here. Uh, and you can see that what I'm doing here is I'm using my uh, virtual mic uh, and, sorry, I'm using my regular mic, my Shure MV7 coming into Zoom. And uh, so you can see the levels jumping up and down as I'm speaking. But now if I were to play a sound effect in, uh, in Ecamm Live, uh oh, I didn't do something stupid. Uh oh, I didn't do something so stupid. So that has played in Ecamm, but you'll notice that there was no levels jumping up and down when it was playing because although you could hear it, it was in Ecamm, it was not being brought into Zoom. And that is exactly the uh, issue that the virtual mic solves. So now if I come into my Zoom and I can come down here, you'll see that we've got Ecamm Live virtual mic. Uh, so I just click on that one. And now my audio is still coming through because instead of it coming directly from my mic, it's routing basically through Ecamm. So you can still see in Zoom that the uh, little levels are popping up and down. But then if I were to play a sound effect in Ecamm. Uh oh, I didn't do something stupid. Uh oh. You, you can see the levels are still stupid. jumping up and down, indicating that uh, the audio is then coming through. So problem solved. No need for loopback. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, you may obviously be using this for other purposes, but uh, uh, certainly for Ecamm into Zoom and the like, it's uh, no longer necessary. So uh, that is the virtual mic feature. And uh, I think a lot of people are going to be very happy, as I say. But what are the other two features that I mentioned? Well, they're related to uh, playlists in the sound effects window. So the sound effects menu you can access uh, in Ecamm Live by uh, coming over to the little menu here and uh, pressing this button. That will bring up the sound effects panel. And when we're talking about playlists, we're talking about uh, groups of sound effects. So uh, in the sound effects panel, uh, as well as having uh, all of your different sound effects, you can, as you can see, I've done here, group them as well. Um, and so what that means is, and by the way, you do that just by clicking here to add a new group, name it whatever you want and add in the sound effects. The thing about groups of sound effects is it means that as well as actually playing the individual tracks just by clicking on them uh, like this. Uh, what you can also do is you can play the group or playlist as a whole by clicking on the play button that is here next to the folder instead. If you do that, then uh, using this little cogwheel here, <laughs> you can then also loop these tracks if I have that one toggled on. Basically, what that's going to do is just play through and loop through all of these tracks. So that's great if you want to have some constant background music of uh, a series of looping tracks or whatever. Uh, so that is all nothing new. What is new is they've now added the uh, forward and backward skip buttons. Uh, so you can use this to skip between uh, different tracks by clicking like that. And then what 
you can also do though is uh, now it does work with Apple's built-in media keys so where on your keyboard you've got the uh, the play pause things like that and the skip forward and backwards track uh, those now work with Ecamm so if I press the pause which is F8 on my keyboard it pauses the music and if I press play again it will play the playlist and then if I use the skip forwards and backwards uh, then it will actually go forwards and backwards through those tracks so uh, that is the other functionality that was added in <laughs> if I just pause this music uh, that was the other functionality that was added in apart from the virtual camera uh, sorry virtual mic but the virtual mic is a biggie <laughs> so uh, I hope you found that useful if you did as always don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you like about the beta in general and uh, any feature requests that you've got and uh, don't forget to drop those in the Ecamm live beta group as well uh, so that's all for now and if you've really enjoyed this then there is always my buy me a coffee page to support the channel on a one-off or ongoing basis now i'm going to leave a link to some of my other ecamm live videos over on the right hand side so don't go anywhere and youtube is going to pick another great video for you just up at the top there as well so until the next time have a great day